Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, I'm going to be taking you guys along for a day in my life, but it is going to be a little different because I'm going to be talking about a day in my life as a technical writer. Now, most of you know or most of you do not know that I work as a technical writer in the software industry. Now, technical writing is quite an evolving field, so I thought this video may be helpful to a couple of you who are interested in this field and I get a lot of questions asking me what I do uh, so I thought this video will be helpful. I will take you along to a day in my life as a technical writer so I hope you're excited for this video as much as I am. Let's just get started. I'm just having my cup of tea actually it's very very hot to go and sit um in the balcony right now you guys know this is my setup for when i am not working from home uh for when i'm not working from the office these are my brushes because usually from when i'm not working from the office this is where i get dressed and i put up this ring light here for some other reason and it's just been here and i think it's been helping me out a lot so i have a monitor here as well it's very important as a writer to have an extra monitor because there's a lot of content you look at every single day and if you just have to look at one screen you may as well just get blind so i'm gonna have my cup of tea and then get dressed and so i make it a point to check all my emails before going to work or you know the previous day just try to make a list of things that i have to do the previous day and i also make sure to check my emails before going to work so that once i get to work i don't spend a lot of time just checking emails uh, from the previous night so After I get to work, I just set up my desk and make sure that I'm ready with everything for the day. My laptop, my monitor, everything is set up. I usually... I usually start my day with early morning meetings. We call these meetings stand-ups in the Agile framework where everyone is usually standing and shares their update with everyone else in the team. They generally give their plan for the day and also uh, highlight any assistance that they require from anyone else from the team so that everybody is informed about what everyone else is working on. So I currently support two development teams so I have back to back meetings. These meetings are a good avenue for us writers to let other members know that we need some kind of assistance on the content that we are working on. It's a good way of informing them that we will be taking some time from them uh, to collaborate and that way everyone can allocate their time um, based on what is discussed in the morning meetings. Occasionally, these meetings can also get too technical, so I make sure to excuse myself, especially when the discussion uh, that is being had is not resourceful for me, then I try to excuse myself and work on other things that are more important for me or need my attention more than the meeting. So while I have this time, I go ahead to my Git and pull all the repos that I need for the day and make sure that I'm ready to do any kind of work. Now, since we are back in the office, I'm going to take my next call from a meeting room where my other development team is going to meet. I love meetings in meeting rooms. I'm, I feel like they're a great avenue to collaborate and get your questions across. I love them better than Zoom calls. So now that I'm, I'm heading back to my floor, the other development team usually sits on the other floor. So I have to go there and take the call. So I just usually try to take the stairs just to come back to my desk.
Mornings are usually when my brain works the best but most of my time goes into meetings so as soon as I'm done with these meetings I try and schedule my SME calls for later that day to clarify any doubts I have regarding the feature content that I am working on. I try to finish some of my writing before lunch because I feel like my mind stays more active. I usually do these in writing sprints. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of this. I set aside 15 to 25 minutes for writing and try and not to move from my place and I get away from all of my distractions my phone and food included if i'm not done finishing my writing i just give myself a break after 25 minutes and then get back to it usually take a coffee break around 11 a.m or 11 15 a.m whenever it's viable for everyone we just catch up and talk about work other work that other people are doing because usually uh, it's never uh, the case that somebody is working on very very similar things everybody is always doing something different something new so it's always great to have these chats and talk about other work and other things in life as well in general so this is a kind of a nice break for me to be able to go back Back to doing what I was doing. Then I just try to get back to writing and if I have any questions and I try to reach out to other people from the team who can help me. As I mentioned earlier, I usually set up meetings for the day. I actually had a couple of questions for my mentor, my writing mentor, someone who trained me when I joined this job. I had a couple of questions for her that I had written down from last night. So I just wanted to quickly clarify those things from her so that I can get to working on some other things later on in the day. After I'm done with that, I finish some more writing whenever I have some. If I do not have a lot of writing assignments, I try and spend my time trying to understand the product, trying to understand the product area, trying to collaborate with other people from the development team uh, who may help me in understanding the features for the upcoming releases. So this is my usual, but today I had a lot of writing to do. So that's what I am doing. And um, I'm going to try and finish some topics just before I can go for lunch. As tech writers, we use a variety of authoring tools. These tools enable us to author content in a structured manner. Some of the most popular tools in the industry are database tools like Oxygen, Adobe FrameMaker, Ixiasoft. We also use other enabling tools like Photoshop, Visio, Lucid to create a different kinds of uh, diagrams or flowcharts. After I'm done with my writing, I check in my files and then we head out for lunch and usually take a lunch break for around half an hour to 45 minutes. And there's some of my colleagues, some I know from my previous organization, some are new friends. And then we get back to the desk. Working post lunch gets quite difficult, especially the first one hour when you've just eaten and you're feeling really sleepy. During this time, I try to work on tasks that do not need a lot of brain work, sometimes creating reports, incorporating review comments, triaging defects. There are days when we do have meetings in the afternoon where they are one-on-one -on -one meeting sprint demos and I'm just glad that today was not one of those days. Usually we don't get a lot of work done on days when there are a lot of meetings so we just dedicate that time for meetings and collaboration. Now, since we have an open plan set up and we're still working in hybrid mode, people can occupy any seat available within the base. 
So we make use of focus rooms that allow you to isolate yourself from any distractions around. I usually do this during my late afternoons when I struggle to concentrate and when I have something very important to work on and needs my undivided attention. Focus rooms are great for doing your writing sprints as well, but in the mornings I'm usually not so distracted so I avoid it. And another coffee break and some final check-ins and we are done for the day. That said, no single day is the same as the one before in a technical writer's life. But this is what it looks like in a nutshell. And that's the end of my day. So yeah, that's all for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you guys have any more questions for me regarding technical writing or you know how you can start a career in this field, uh, you can drop the comments down below. You can, and I will also leave my LinkedIn uh, link down below in the description box so you can reach out to me over there as well. So I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in another video pretty soon. Bye.